Hi everybody, Eric here again with another review. And as you saw at the end of my last review, the Kratos, here we are today with the brand new uh, figure, the Mighty Morphin Ranger Slayer. Um, this is actually from the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. And this is the Ranger Slayer. This is a, a fairly new character to the Power Rangers uh, to the Power Rangers mythos. And you can see I got her on a Tamashi Stage Act stand. And I got her in a little pose with her accessories and stuff. Like I said, this is a relatively new character. It's actually um, the Pink Ranger, brainwashed by uh, Lord Draken in the Power Rangers storyline Shattered Grid. You know, before we take a look at the figure and what it has to offer, I'd like to show you guys the box real quick. You know, nothing too special with the box, but I just wanted to show it off real quick. You can see your Mighty Morphin Ranger Slayer. You got a nice, uh, very minimalistic art design. Sorry about the ring light, guys. You see that's where the figure was. The other or the full image and a little bit of the box see that got it at gamestop actually got it for cheaper than this is what they were selling it at retail though so that was a box let's get a better look at the figure so here are with the figure just without any of his accessories and we'll talk about those in a little bit real quick but um this is what it looks like up close and personal um i don't know if you guys you know i don't know how many of you guys watch power rangers but this is supposed to be the Pink Ranger, Kimberly. And uh, I'm going to see if I can find a photo. And if I can find one, I'll put it in right now. But comparing her to um, her Pink Ranger. But basically, yeah, like as the name implies, she's like a Ranger Slayer. So she's hunting the Power Rangers, right? She's very like uh, dark, commando. And I actually really am enjoying this nice color scheme. I love this pink, black, and white. And it does remind me of somebody else, actually, we'll bring in later in the review. But, uh, uh, quick thoughts. I think it looks really nice. From what I've seen in the comic books and stuff, it looks just like, uh, Kimberly. Um, there is a couple QC, QC issues I want to talk about. You can see here already one. There's, uh, some pink paint blending onto this black coat right here. You can see that. Uh, the paint is a little bit sloppy in a few areas. You can see some of that right here. So yeah, like the paint is kind of inconsistent sometimes and sometimes it does look cheaply put on but you know It is what it is see some more paint splatterage right here But uh some things that I really like about this figure I'm gonna take this uh jacket off by the way. Sorry guys or the cape It does have really really nice sculpting like I was saying earlier. This thing looks just like the comic book art It looks just like the helmet You know, it, it doesn't have the best paint apps like I said a lot of paint splotchage here or you know but it does have really nice sculpting you know all, all it would need really is like a panel line you could see like that sculpted design right here this whole shoulder armor piece it's like segmented armor sculpted on very nicely you know the paint could be better like i was talking about earlier but it does look good you can see that and this thing i didn't notice i thought it was like qc but there actually is a lot of sculpted battle damage in her thigh armor, her upper thigh armor. You can see all those battle scratches and stuff like that. And does have really nice sculpted wrinkles on the, the pants. You know, those those um battle scars go all the way throughout it. Some more QC issues in the back right here. A little bit of that, you know. But it does look really nice. All the sculpting is done very well. This figure is really nice. The boots, like I said earlier. The sculpting is really, really nice on here. Now, that's it for the sculpting. Let's get into the accessories. So, Ranger Slayer doesn't come with much, but, you know, what she comes with is really what matters, right? So, first and foremost, she comes with this cloak. We saw it earlier. It has really nice battle damage on it. You can see it's, like, burned as bullets or, you know, like holes in it. Really, really nice. The sculpting is really cool. Absolutely no paint on here whatsoever, except for these silver bits right here can see those and this pauldron pink pauldron easily fits on just like so no snap on it just it, it, it like conforms to the figure really nicely that is the cloak does come with i believe this is the bow of darkness it's very reminiscent to uh the sword of darkness that we saw in my tommy review you guys remember that see it looks like this could be a sword right here but yeah this is the bow of darkness you can see here it has these little clips right here for this other accessory. It's these three arrow pieces. And they just clip on like so. 
like that. You can see that. Three arrow pieces, both darkness, and there is this nice effect piece. This is uh, one of her attacks. It does the exact same thing as well, just like this. Pull these off. And it does connect just like this, I believe. See it right here? I always can like to connect it down here. And like you saw on the when she was on the base, get something like this. Or, you know, angle it upwards. This is really nicely sculpted, by the way. It's like, it's one of these individual arrows. But, you know, like with the pink energy effect around it, it looks really, really nice, honestly. It's one of the better effect pieces that come with these figures. I would definitely recommend that. It's a really nice translucent pink. You can see that? Really nice. She does come with two extra hands. A karate chop hand. Really nice sculpting on here. Unique hands, by the way, that has these armor pieces that fit the Ranger Slayer. And this fist hand. Same thing. And I believe it's a Ranger Stick. Black, of course, because she's evil. And this just fits into her holster on the side right here. Just like so. Sorry about that. Just like so. And she also does have this, these hands, this pointing hand. It looks like a gun hand, but it's bow holding hand. And then a gun hand. And I'll show you guys how to put the So bow. I took the cape off just to make it a little bit easier. And it is a little bit tricky fitting this bow of darkness into her hands. Just because the way they're designed. They're shaped kind of weird, right? And this bow is also pretty weird. So I'm going to try and put into this hand. You can see how thin her fingers are, right? Very, very thin fingers. And from a, from what it looks like, it's supposed to be this way. See this right here? Let's pop it in. And this thumb likes to push the whole bow out. But something like this. Of course, you can see you're holding the bow of darkness. Like this. And then you put the, the cloak on. It looks just like the artwork from... Power Rangers Shattered Grid. You can see that here. It does look really nice. Get her into a little pose with her effect piece. You know, that's what I came up with real quick. I just put those three arrows into those little holes like there, like I showed you earlier. Put this default hand on there, just like so, you know. Really easy, simple pose. But these hands also can work with the Ranger stick that I was talking about earlier. Easy, easy, and just goes like this. Pop it out, and it does fit in right here. Just like so. I believe this is a melee weapon, if I'm not mistaken. And there you go, that's the accessories. Really quick, before we move on to articulation, I forgot to show off something. Uh, the Ranger Belt is actually done very well, her Morpher. You can't really tell on camera, but that is a pterodactyl. Just barely is a pterodactyl. It does look really nice. Looks really, really nice in here. It is a unique belt design. Forgot to show that off. You can see that out here. Very unique belt design as in it goes like this. Curves. Kind of curves like a parabola. And one thing I did that I did like that I did not mention was the triangle on the body looks really, really nice. This whole diamond pattern looks really nicely done and it blends in perfectly with the shoulder articulation. Now let's move on to articulation. Um, the head goes full 360. It goes up really nicely, down, up really nice to do shooting pose. She does have this butterfly joint. Arms go outwards, both sides equally, nice ratchet joint. Down, elbow bends, a 360 swivel at the elbow. Hands go up, very tight on this one. They don't want to move on this one. Oh, it's uh, I didn't know this, but it's uh, angled an angle joint for this one 360. Same, uh, different on this side, it goes down and a full 360. You can see that. And the articulation is different for these hands, it is a up and down movement for his fist hand or her fist hand that I forgot to show on here, and the karate chop hand. Same thing, get into a nice little pose like that. The midsection is very, very nicely articulated. It moves very nicely, very fluidly. It does have this upper part joint right here. It does let it move just like this, and it allows it to move a little bit side to side. It does rotate, 
along with the L or the the ab crunch, it does go down forward very nice. Nicely back, very nicely back by the way. Hips do go forward, back quite a bit, actually just a little bit. Full splits, does have an upper thigh swivel right here next to the armor. Double jointed knees that move very nicely, very fluidly on both sides. The This is actually new for this Power Rangers uh, Lightning Collection. It does have a rotating boot right here. A lot of the male figures don't have a rotation right by the ankle. It's usually up here. Um, the foot does go down very nicely, goes up, and she has a very, very nice ankle rocker. So the articulation, for most of all, is very nice on this figure. So there we have the Ranger Slayer, and here she is next to another dinosaur-themed Power Ranger. We've actually seen him before. It's the Red Dino Thunder Ranger. You can see this is the male body type, the typical male body type, and the female body type. Just a little bit taller. You can see that. There he is next to the Red Ranger. Here he is to next to the Blue Ranger. Here she is next to the Blue Ranger in a pose. You can see that they look really nice together, all the dinosaur-themed heroes. Here she is next to a larger scale figure, next to Azrael from the DC McFarlane line. You can see this Azrael is just towering over Ranger Slayer. You see that? Very, very nice. Here she is next to the other special guest I was talking she about. She is next to another pink, black, and white figure characters coming out her decade. These figures look really, really nice together in my opinion. They basically have the exact same color scheme. And decade being my favorite rider. And, you know, this, this figure is... I, I usually don't buy um, the female... Like, it sounds very sexist. It's not. It's just... I usually only collect the main the main uh, Red Ranger of every Power Ranger series. But I saw this and thought I should give it a chance, you know what I mean? And it, it really looks super, super nice. I'm super surprised by how it looks. I'm very, um, very blown away by its articulation. And now let's get into some final thoughts. Now, some quick final thoughts. Honestly, this figure, like I was saying in the clip earlier, this figure really blew me away by how, how good it actually was. Like I said, I really I usually don't collect secondary rangers, just the reds. And uh, this thing blew me away by its articulation and the stuff it comes with, like that effect piece you guys saw at the very beginning and the one I was talking about, uh, the bow of darkness. The only things I would say this figure has going against it is just quality control issues. Um, just a couple of paint splotches here and there. And I would say lack of paint on the weapons and stuff, like real quick. Plain silver, plain silver. You know, they could at least paint those. But all in all, this is definitely a, definitely a, a good purchase if you see it. So that was the review, guys. I'd like to thank you. Stay tuned for the next review. Peace.